Hi guys, welcome to Monday. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It is Make It A Minutes Monday. My name is Nancy Forsberg and I am one half of stamping before anything else. So happy you are here. We're gonna be doing this card right here. It's, uh, I think it's called a bay window card and it sits like this and it opens up like that. Pretty cool, huh? So I made uh, one in the navy, and then I had to do the purple one with this beautiful paper here. And it opens up like that, this one. And the paper that we're going to be using is in the same packet of the, the navy one that we did. And it is called Master, Masterfully Made 12 by 12 and it's got some beautiful, fun, bright colors in here that I absolutely adore. Um, I love bright colors, they just make me very happy. And so, uh, what better card to display this designer series paper um, than doing the bay window card. So, we're gonna show you how to make that. The stamp set that we, uh, stamp set that we used in this is Good Feelings. And what I did ahead of time is I went and then I bossed in white on top of our pretty peacock cardstock. So I got that done ahead of time. We're going to be using some iridescent pearls and I've already got my score marks already done on here. And then we're going to cut our designer series paper uh, together. So um, you can find all the measurements and all that kind of fun stuff over on our blog. There should be a link in the description here, but we're going to go ahead and get started on here. So we have a four and a quarter by 11 inch card base. So I have it scored right here in the at, at the half mark. And then for the next one right here, it's like a quarter of an inch or th exactly three eighths of an inch. We're going to fold it back on itself. We want to make sure these lines are all lined up. So it's even here and here. And then we're going to do another fold here on the second score line and that one's going to be in a mountain this is called a mountain because it's going to stick out this one was a valley this one's a mountain mountain and then for this last one we're going to do a valley fold on it okay so it should look like this or if you put the two small pieces down on the card base it'll look like that all right, so we're gonna take our basic white piece. You can stamp something on here, but just be aware that this piece on the edge right here is gonna be glued down. And I just like to keep mine um, blank for now until I know who's gonna be getting the card. So we're gonna glue this down right away. Now, if you have a designer series paper that is directional, and this kind of is directional, but you don't have to be so worried about it. But with this one specifically, um, you do need to worry about it. This is the top piece of that paper right here. So this is what it looks like. So I took the bottom piece, which is what we're gonna work with um, right now. And then I did um, the sample and the top piece up here. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you pay attention on how you're cutting your pieces. Okay, so this piece measures four inch by 10, and I'm going to start by cutting off one inch of the four inch. So we're gonna start over here. Let me move this down a little. So we're gonna start by cutting one inch off of that side. Okay, so now this piece is actually gonna go on the inside of our card, right on the edge, right there. Right, so I'm just going to lay that there for now. Now I'm going to slide this over because we're going to start over on this edge right here and we're going to cut a quarter inch. So I'm going to turn it upside down because it's easier for me to cut a quarter inch on the right hand side of the cutting board. So we're going to line that up. Okay, it's a teeny tiny piece. So I'm just going to lay that down here because I'll know exactly where it goes. Then I'm going to turn it the right way again, and then we're going to cut at one and a quarter. Okay. 
The next piece is going to be one and a half. Okay, I'll put these over here. The next one is going to be one and a quarter. And then again, we're going to do a quarter of an inch. And like I said, I'm going to turn it upside down. It's easier to cut on the right hand side for that tiny little piece. Okay. So now we have our pieces for the front. And so then what you're going to want to do is you could either leave the inside plane, which is what we're going to do tonight just for filming purposes, but you do the exact same cuts with the remaining piece that's left. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side and now we're going to start building our card. Since we've already glued down our white piece, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add glue to this little piece right here. We're going to fold that over. And you don't want to add too much glue because it'll spill out of the edges and then the whole card will be glued together. So we just want a little bit and this is what it should look like. Okay, now for this one inch piece that we put here, we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. And this kind of acts as like the locking mechanism that holds that little piece in to make it look like a bay window. Okay, now we're ready to put this piece down and we're just gonna adhere it to the white. Now for this front piece, I end up gluing piece by piece all the way down and I use Tombow glue. That way you can kinda have a little bit of wiggle room to slide your paper into the correct position. All right, and there we have it, you guys. Now, there, we tuck that in, and this, just gotta play around with the paper, but there we have our bay window fold. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. So now, we're gonna go ahead and take our little sentiment, and we're gonna adhere it to the middle panel, and of course, we're gonna be using dimensionals for that. And then last, we're going to add a little bit of sparkle to this. Okay, guys, what do you think? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. It's a fun fold and you can give it to whoever. They can display it on their mantle, on their desk at work. But we got our three designs here. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. I do have to say this is probably my favorite because I love the rainbow spectrum and it just looks so fun and bright and I don't know, they're, all three of them are very gorgeous but that one's my favorite. But let me know, what's your favorite? So, also if you did like this video, we would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and we'd love it if you could subscribe to our channel because it's free and why not? And then if you click on that notica notification uh, symbol, you will get notified when we are live. So, um, we are so thankful that you were here. Uh, appreciate it and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Bye.